Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. All right, guys, we're here. We got a, a nice little bio job to do in a car. It was uh, on 275, come from the passenger side over. Uh, we're working on a, a vehicle that was part of a shooting, and uh, there's uh, blood inside. Oh, shit. Oh, found the first one. Really? Yeah. Looks like a nine millimeter. Don't exactly know the full story, but from what I've gathered so far, it was uh, on 275, around, I want to say mile marker 40, not 100% sure where, come from the passenger side over. That's about all we got. It's pretty gruesome on the center console. We have Big Ben with us today, so it's gonna be a nice, easy, hot, sweaty, Very hard hot. job. Uh, I'm guessing we got about four bullet holes. Yeah. Can't exactly count them because two are kind of merged, so maybe two to four. So just start with what time we're looking at. So I'm guessing about four to five hours, maybe, um, around the center console, uh, up near the base, or should I say the glove compartment area. There's a lot of electronic ports, uh, holes, gaps that bio could have dripped down in beneath that. So there's no telling until we actually start pulling that up. Like we may, we may be able to clean the top, and it may look nice but that doesn't mean we got it all. So that's uh, one of the challenges for today, along with the extreme heat. I believe it's a heat index of what, 112? 112 today. 112 heat, is, heat index, and so it was that's like a just heat intense. advisory that came through this morning. Oh, who did that? That should come around. How many texts does it take <laughs> to set up a tent? <laughs> Okay, so note to self, let's leave this on. Good idea. This is what I'm talking about, creating a work environment right up here. Yeah. Heck yeah. Get a fan bone? Yeah. It's yeah. Been on there for a reason. Nice. Mariah, come right. Come hither. How do you? <laughs> Jesus. Push. What do you like a basketball <laughs> player? Push <laughs> oh, there we go. Jason's tall Velcro. enough. Oh, there's a Velcro. Yeah. It'll be fine. Oh, it's Velcro. It's, it's fine. fine. It's not going to go so anywhere. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, if you, when Shade. it comes down, Dang, Velcro, you, you can leave the top this on. This made right. like a 20 degree difference right yeah. here. Yeah. You want to beanbag chairs too? <laughs> yes. Not <laughs> in the gym, though. Not, not yet. That defeats the purpose of the gym. Big beanbags. Well, I decided to uh, come by this job here at the body shop. Uh, we're working on a, a vehicle that was part of a shooting and uh, there's uh, blood inside that the guys are gonna be working on and we've got a new franchise coach and I wanted to expose him to the types of jobs that we do and uh, meet some of our staff today. So Jason and I are here checking everything out. Hey guys, my name is Jason. This is my first day on the job here at Spalding Decon and I got to uh, come out to a uh, gunshot car and uh, check things out. So it's uh, very interesting and a lot to learn. So I'm excited and looking forward to it. So it's dark carpet. We spray this when we want to see if there's blood anywhere. So, see that? First step is actually unloading before we even tackle that. Uh, get us a nice cool area set up, although that way we don't overheat. Uh, we do have a cooler full of ice, liquids, that way we can stay hydrated, stay somewhat refreshed. Flies like swarmed out like a movie scene. Oh. Like there were like hundreds of flies just swarmed out. Charlie, that's oh. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's some like sign of the apocalypse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was like you could smell it. And down I'll tell straight. you, I'm so it's so ingrained in me now. Anytime I'm having a meal, if a fly touches it, I literally Done. can't eat the rest of it. Because I'm on my head, I'm thinking that fly was just on something dead. <laughs> A human or an animal, and or it poop. just landed on my yeah. fucking meal. Yeah. And it's gonna take a little bio shit on your meal. Yes, it's taking a bio <laughs> shit on my meal. Your accent though makes it sound appealing. Does so it? It does. Like, I'm like, almost oh, like, oh, okay, it's supposed to, to come now. with the yeah, meal. Yeah, I want to eat it. You're Charlie. Me and Charlie will it's, eat it. It's a delicacy. Well, I did a uh, Back Friday, um, yeah. and eating maggots is actually a delicacy in yep. some island in they Spain. Put a stick in there Probably Chinese. It's cheese. Yeah, it's cheese. Here's something for you. A little fun fact. 
if you hit uh, like a big pile of maggots with a blowtorch, it sounds like it popping cracks. popcorn. It pops. Yeah. Does it really? Yes. Yeah. Look at him smiling. So like you That's a cool fact. I have. So did you find some maggots and you're like, I wonder if I set those on fire. How that <laughs> it sounds like a pop popcorn. Last year, uh, myself, Kyle, and I think Nick was doing a job and we found a bunch of maggots on the floor and I said, let's have maggot races. And we literally lined up our maggots and we had a race. And uh, I didn't win, my maggot didn't win. But anyway, so we're like, everybody, let's name maggots. And they're like, Maggie the maggot, it's so cute. And now uh, every time we go on a job, Maggie is our best employee. Okay. Never files worker comp, never calls in sick, and legit works 24-7. Oh, nice. Favorite nice. employee, <laughs> favorite employee. Is that indicating fee? Yeah. Okay. We're not fully diving in just yet. We're waiting for the steamer to heat up. Right now, we're just taking some indicators, trying to figure out what seats need to come out. Um, I was checking the passenger. Fee is over there checking the driver, which obviously needs to come out to begin with. I didn't see anything on the passenger. No, that's what we thought, because there was stuff on the door. So we're thinking it was, but it's not indicating. So it's probably spaghetti sauce from this container right now. That's get a lot hotter. Oh, tell me about it. Time to get in my uh, my workout uniform. Sweatsuit. Might as well, what it be called? Fighting the urge to not work in my Crocs. Oh shit. Oh. Found the first one. Really? Yeah. Go B, 10 points. Heck yeah. Looks like a nine millimeter. Looks like, just from the, the shape of it. There you go. Do you see this one? Oh, what's up? Uh, what's up to the side? I actually don't see where it hit in here. There's a little scratching. Because it came from the other side? So after it went through on the other side, okay. would be the metal on the other side slowed it down enough for it to penetrate this, just enough for it to fall into. That's why the hole isn't that big as if it were to be coming out or going through another hole. So that's a pretty interesting find. What do you think, V? First thing I'm gonna try and do is beat on a bigger one to see if I can get it undone. And if that don't work, then I'm gonna have to cut a slot in it and use it as like it's a flathead. Can you bring me a hammer? Double layer. Completely dry. I gotta get out of this. It's to the point where it feels like I am burning from the outside in, or inside out, sorry. Inside out. Having trouble breathing. Lightheaded. Not good. We are currently stuck uh still stuck on that month that one bolt um it's stripped yeah so the bolt got stripped so we got the door panels off didn't find another bullet yet we might vacuum out the glass just as a courtesy you know we're already here might as well clean out the whole front for them. live up to our name you know we are here to try and make people's lives easier um to try and fix the wrong that life has done to everybody else so you know we might end up just cleaning out the whole car any last words for now? It's hot as hell. My ball sweat has ball sweat. I, have, Kyle says. I have major boob sweat going on. Waterfalls? Yeah. Niagara Falls? Not the good kind. Too many falls. Oh. Just to give you guys a little update. Um, it's been a hard day. It's been a, a hot, hot day. Hot. What was it, 107? Yeah. When we checked. Something like that. Hot enough to where 10 minutes in, I was already wringing out my shirt. After dumping out our toolbox, trying to uh, find what we could use, Fee ended up going into the body shop over there and asking them for the specific set of tools to remove the seats. Um, and the guy basically told us that if it's completely stripped, we're fucked. Luckily, I was able to beat it on there, uh, as I was trying to do with other things, and uh, got, it, got the front driver's seat out. Um, we don't know if the passenger seat needs to come out yet, but so we don't have to ask again tomorrow because this just turned into a two-day job thanks to the generator not wanting to run. 
<laughs> Fuck this shit. Um, I did loosen those. So all that's really left, steering wheel and the center console and the carpet. Stay in the shade, don't stay overheat. Stay hydrated. And stay hydrated. See you guys tomorrow. All right guys, we're back here with day two of this hellish bio. It is, again, excruciatingly hot. We do have the canopy set up. I got a new tech with us today. What's your name again? Haley. I have Haley with me today. I got her with me today, teaching her how to do the remaining of the car bio. Hey, I'm Haley. I started at Spalding Decon's location in North Carolina. And um, this is my first day doing a biohazard with Nick. Nick's really nice to me. Um, I haven't done a car before, so this is gonna be kind of new. I'm really kind of anxious about everything, but Nick's been a really great help to me and I'm ready to get back into it. So all right through here and even more so in the back. Also down in there and it's even on this fabric right here. So right now I'm trying not to let anything pop up in my face. Which is why I'm not forcing it so hard. But nonetheless it still needs to come up. All right guys, so at this point, I'm getting too overheated. Um, I've been feeling kind of woozy. They're gonna have another team come back tomorrow, hopefully early in the morning. Management has decided that I am pushing myself too far. So, hope you guys enjoy the rest of it. Can't wait to see how it turns out at the end. Enjoy guys. Well, I'm John, this is day three. I came here to get the center console out, get the carpet out and remove the seats. Um, and vacuum and make sure that everything was indicated and make sure there was no blood evidence anywhere. Looks like we're good. All this is blood. That's all blood. Still got to clean it up. That's blood. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, steam it. Go ahead and steam it. And then we'll go ahead and uh, put it back in the car because it will be completely clean. We'll spray it again with indicator, make sure it's the right way and we'll go ahead and call it done. Center console we did have to remove because all the electronics were saturated in blood, so we did have to get rid of that. But that's the only thing we're gonna have to take with us. Everything else can be put back in the car and be used like new. I gotta go back to the office, get the client, double walk it with her, triple walk it with her, make sure she's happy, get her to sign, and I'm off to the office. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations. That's it guys, on to the next.